What's good, Josh and Boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE Top 20 Entertaining Segments in History Part 2. I couldn't find part one to this video. Maybe it got taken down, I'm not sure. But we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. We're almost at 60,000 subscribers so uh thank you guys so much for all the loves the likes the subscriptions and the comments down below you guys are amazing let's get this going this should be a good video man and uh let's do this thing <laughs> I'm here to fight, baby. Seth <laughs> Rollins, get your ass out here, boy. Get your ass out here, boy. Get your weaselly ass out here. <laughs> Let's just think about this, okay? Uh, this is the authority angle. They were protecting Rollins. Rock, 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 rock. Why don't you... Right back, Eric Rowan and Dolph Ziggler, their jobs back. You need to put something on the line now, John. Tonight, you'll have a match. We'll get their job back. Your word. Ladies and gentlemen, put him out of the picture. Get back into the crop right here. My client! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what was his name? I know he had to stick with the... I have kids. I have a family to feed. This isn't. I think it's Heath Slater. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's Heath Slater. He was just a mega jobber, bro. He was like the pinnacle of jobbers. If there was a a, a such position. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's. I feel you. He's about to get destroyed. Let's talk about your kids. I don't, I don't give, give a, a sh shit about your kids. kids. <laughs> so great and at that point he knew he slater he was going to suplex city f5 he was he was going to get obliterated he was going to spend a lot of time with his kids at home because he was going to be injured <laughs> this oh this was a good segment this was such a good segment did you smoke the prototype to that championship you have <laughs> big red-headed lumber jackass didn't you get beat up by a girl at the Rumble, man? Didn't you get tossed over the top? <laughs> I ain't asking for permission. I came to put a champion to sleep. Joe is so, so good on the mic, bro. I have to fang the Viper. Trust me. So good on the mic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's when the Miz was imitating John Cena. John Cena, Cena recognize. <laughs> and rule number one of John Cena's house rules is you may not say Cena sucks. Cena sucks. <laughs> Nikki Bella and myself are leaving WWE. No more Cena. I'm going to miss him. That was a good segment. You can shut your damn mouth. Him and his scarf. A guy. Mm -hmm. All right. You're just another idiot, just like everybody here tonight. And here's the thing Jericho was a heel, but he was so over. I think this is right around the time of the list and stuff, but he was still over. People were still cheering for him as a heel. <laughs> See, look, look at that. Bro, it was anybody but Roman. You had a crowd full of. Potentially 10,000 plus people saying, we're idiots. Where? <laughs> I want that championship. You understand what I'm saying to you right now. All I have to say, big man, is congratulations, brother. I'll take it from here, Cesaro. I'm not a Zeb Coulter guy. I'm a Paul Heyman guy. And this is where we thought, oh, my God, he's paired up with Paul Heyman. They're about to do something with him. And what did they do? Nothing. See? King of Swing Cesaro! You're jumping ship to Paul Heyman? I know this 
comes as a shock to you, Grandpa, is to instruct Mr. Layfield and these two other clowns that they call announcers. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Hey! Wait a second! Cesaro has had enough. That was his trophy. That's Cesaro won. And that's the trophy. It's smashed. Huh. Cesaro really should have had a main event push. At least he got a little bit of a taste of that. A main event feud with uh, Roman Reigns. This uh, I want to say it was earlier this year. Fantastic match. One of the best matches of this year for WWE. But still, it was short-lived. I think there was Randy Savage, or someone dressed as Randy Savage in the crowd. This is the time where we go off the script. <laughs> yeah, this wasn't planned. What's your name? Steve. It doesn't matter. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> and you are playing Hulk Hogan. Wow. The weed is good in Miami today. <laughs> Welcome to Raw. Good. Good to see you. Like, all right, this was all are... this is all off script. He wasn't planning to do this or whatnot, but The Rock can get away with that because he's the fucking Rock. It's going to tell him no. He's a ratings grab. Hearing yourselves kissing my ass like that? Who are you people? It's favorite. This was great, too. This was nice. Randy Orton they came back. They weren't so sure if he was going to be with the authority. This was after what happened with Seth Rollins. This was really good. I love this, this segment of Seth not really knowing. Seth actually low-key kind of being afraid of what Randy may do to him. A demon right now. What the devil's favorite dumbass? This kicking is... ass and taking names, or kissing ass and making coffee? From the most dominant superstar in history this is to such the a most great segment. pathetic. Why do you despise me so? Because I can get on all the rides at Disneyland, and you can't. <laughs> and you. Which brings <laughs> me to Mr. Oh, he showed him no love. He said, "And you." Which gets me right. <laughs> I love it. Seth Rollins. I plan on making you my bitch. Woo! <laughs> if Chris Jericho throws Brock Lesnar over the top rope. Oh, wait just oh, a wow. minute. And oh, the spear! Oh, oh, the oh, here. oh, wait, wait. There's Seamus. <laughs> Just a chaos. The Wyatt and Sister Abigail. Got Gray Wyatt just told Luke Harper to get. This is so nice to see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I got a job now, guys, to be honest, and I'm an executive. Don't say. Vince McMahon. He will authorize me to give all of you jobs and he will then fire you. <laughs> you can't fire me. <laughs> he will buy that piss ant company just to fire you again. <laughs> I'm not going to make any excuses. Oh my God, bro. Do y'all hear the nuclear heat he was getting? Sunday at back. I put your downward spiraling career to sleep. You will lose to the modern day Maharaja. Bro, the fact that people were cheering for. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the fact that they were cheering for him. I want y'all to understand the hate for Roman at this period was so good. It was at its highest that it didn't matter who was facing Roman. Roman was always going to get booed. It was always going to be anybody but Roman. Well, in Laval, Quebec, Canada. It's a hometown hero. You hear that? You hear that crowd reception? To make things right, then right here in my hometown. I will be the one to take on Roman Reigns. Oh my God. This segment was lit. Hometown hero, 
There's so much French already talked that I have no idea. This is nice. Moi, je dirais pas tabarouette parce que c'est un adulte de 33 ans, mais en effet, c'est un mien. Oui, 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 oui. That means yes. I thought we were here to appreciate Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? What? I want it. This was cool. It was a play on Stone Cold driving in with the uh with the the beer truck. It was a play on that. Kerry Angle was a face at this time driving in with the milk truck. This was great. What is that? That's a damn milk truck. Kerry Angle is driving a milk truck, and he's he's throwing milk cartons at the audience. Oh my god! <laughs> this is such a cool segment, man. Legendary segment. He literally destroyed. <laughs> he destroyed J and J security, man. And there's the beast. And then he destroyed his car. This was so sick. He destroyed his car. I watched this segment live. I thought this was the, the coolest thing ever. This was so cool, man. I know Dub did not like this segment at all. Bro, that is ridiculous. He just look at this. Oh. How can he not be after that war he went through with? One of the greatest promos from Mark Henry. I think Mark Henry was, was announcing his retirement and then all of a sudden attacked John Cena. Oh, this was so good. This was one of the best segments. Mark Henry has ever been in, bro. If not the John, best segment. I want you to stay. There's something I want to tell you. Oh, this is so good. You thought he was retiring. I figured if, if, if y'all forget me, you would at least remember this coat. <laughs> Sexual chocolate. <laughs> Baby, I'm coming home. This is so good, bro. <laughs> Sorry for the quality. Yeah, this quality is awful. <laughs> I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> it's What in the hell is going on? That quality was whoo. What was that? Fucking 10p? That wasn't even 100p. That was 10p resolution. Jesus Christ, that was awful, man. Oh my God. Stream 85 plus. Channels. That was the first wrestling video ever on YouTube. <laughs> Back in like 2005 or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Woo! I, I can see that 3D though. I can't see what the hell is going on. Oh, God damn. Each and every one of you. Jesus Christ. Bro, it is going crazy. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Jeez. I don't know what's going on right now. Come down in this ring and we'll all welcome you back to the World Wrestling Federation right now. 
I am talking to you. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Fantastic I know team. somebody that is here. Rock. Yes, man. With the rock. Rock is answering Woo! the challenge. Come on, Rock. We don't have to wait till Sunday. He's at holding. Hold on. That Stone Cold was going to be here tonight. He did do The Rock doesn't talk like Stone Cold. He looks like Stone Cold. What? King! This is so fucking. Oh, this. This was such a great segment. Oh, I think he destroyed the DX Express or something like that. I guess what I'm saying is, I'm good at deconstruction. Yeah. What? So. Oh, that's what I like to hear. So cool, what bro. What the hell is he doing? So he cool. Because <laughs> Stone Cold said so. <laughs> oh, yeah. When they went to uh, Canada. They were booing him. Like crazy, bro. But what I am is the showstopper. He embraced the hate. The spread, the hit. And this was such, oh my God, this was a major troll. He wasn't coming out, they just played his music. Got your hopes up just a little bit, didn't I, brother? Wait a minute. Nice <laughs> <laughs> language. Do you teach your children the same talk? The utmost respect for the Undertaker. Oh my God. Kane. Kane. <laughs> For the right hand. Bro, y'all hear that pop? This was supposed to be cool. It, it has its nostalgia, but we all know what happened when they went to Saudi. It was a train wreck of a match. And now Kane! Oh my God! Double! A tombstone! It was supposed to be cool. This moment was cool. Let's say before the ECW World Title match, Taz called out Sabu, vowing not to leave the ring until he met Sabu face. Face Sabu came out, and they and just as they locked up, the lights of the ECW arena went out. When they came back on, they were gone. <laughs> That's the number one moment, number one segment from this video. And that's it. That's it. That's that's what they, the most entertaining segments in history for part two. They made that their number one moment. I'm not sure if I agree with it, but hey, this video was enjoyable nonetheless. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite segment from this video. If I have to choose... Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I did enjoy the the whole uh, Brock destroying uh, Seth Rollins vehicle segment. I thought that shit was fucking entertaining. I did enjoy that. I know Dub would not enjoy me saying that, but it was an enjoyable segment at the time. So comment down below. Let me know. Appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.